Halo sahabat Kumo Football Indonesia, bersama saya Kafe Sando. Hari ini saya ditemani oleh back kiri Komo, Nicholas Ionawa. Nicholas, welcome back to Komo. Thank you very, much. very nice to meet you. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you too. So, can you tell us how it feels to be back? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great moment for me. You know, I've been here last year on loan and I've enjoyed uh, the past year. And uh, I returned to my old club and we had some communication with the, the, the director here and the, and the rest. And uh, we finally made the the move to to come here for three years and i'm very excited and very happy to to join the team as a, a permanent deal right we're glad to have you back thank you so i have a question you're one of the first one of the few non-italian speaking members of the squad obviously last year i think you're probably the only one this year you had a, a you know a few teammates mm -hmm. liam lewis alex also speaks pretty good english was there a language barrier at first and if so how did you overcome it yeah, obviously, if you're, wherever you go, you, there's a different language, uh, so yeah, you just have to adapt. And it's hard at the beginning to to uh, speak to other teammates and to the to the coach, but you, you just need to uh, learn, you know, uh, day by day, uh, get lessons and that, so you can learn the language, so you can speak with the players, speak with the manager, so you know what he wants. Uh, but yeah, finally this year, I, I know a bit more. I can't speak it, but. I understand more and uh, hopefully I can help the team as much right. as possible. So you know what to say on the pitch, right? All yeah, the, yeah, tell football the tactics, related uh, vocabulary. You know what the, the coach wants, so it'll be easier this year and I'll settle in faster. Before joining Como, obviously you came in a little bit after the pre-season camp. Um, you had a bit of training with uh, Nottingham Forest, I believe, yeah. the newly promoted Premier League side. When you trained with them, has the level changed since you last trained with them? Of course. Uh, also, oh, Nottingham Forest now went to another level, a different level, the best best league in the world. Obviously, the levels change. Uh, it was, it is harder, but okay, it's it's football, you know. Uh, better players come in, uh, new targets, new everything. So it was a bit difficult for me. So uh, I made this move to come to Como and uh, participate for this club. So I'm very happy. So. Yeah, well, Como appreciates you. <laughs> yeah, me too. I appreciate the club and the, the owner and everyone here. So. So. Um, you had a great 2021-2022 season, despite your, I believe it was a nasal bone fracture injury. Yes. Can you tell us about the extent of your injury and how you managed to overcome it and what the recovery process was like? To be honest, like? it was the first head injury that I had in my football career. It was, uh, the beginning it was a bit tough, you know, the first week. But then after two months, uh, I was wearing the mask as you saw and uh, I played the games with the mask and it was tough with the vision and everything, but I got used to it. And uh, at the end, uh, I got the name Batman and Zoro, yeah. whatever. Uh, and I did some very good games with the mask, so I used it also as a luck. It was a good experience, a good and bad, but okay. It's football, you know, right. everything can happen, and but I'm okay now, I've got a, a new nose. All right. Well, we all believe there was an iconic part of your season, actually, when you donned the, uh, your first goal again for Como oh, against Rosinone. <laughs> Can you, can you tell us how it feels when you put on the mask? Do you feel it different? Yeah, I thought, oh, once I get a goal, I can use the mask, you know, right, do something right. with the mask, uh, use it as a celebration. So, yeah, I thought, just, just do something with it. So I took it off right. when I scored, and then I ran to the fans, the Como fans, and just, just put it back on, like, you know, hero or something like that. So it was a good celebration, I think, something that I've think about. All right. Um, when I first broke my nose to do it if I scored a goal for Como. So yeah, was, I think it was a successful celebration. Um, early in your career, you played with Manchester United's um, yes. Youth Academy. Can you tell us some of the valuable lessons that you learned during your time there that made you the player that you are today? As you know, I left when I was 12 years old from, from home to, to become a professional footballer. Uh, I've been there at the academy for six years. Uh, you know, it's just it's the most important years for the for the player to adapt and to uh, improve as a player. So yeah, it was an unbelievable experience. I'm very grateful to have that had that opportunity to play for, for that club and that it's a massive club. You know what I mean? It's uh, one of the best clubs in the world. So yeah, I've learned a lot and I've become a better player. And obviously, after six years, I've I've moved on to my career to become a professional footballer, which uh, helped me also. Speaking of your early career, 
we it's come to our attention that you have an indirect connection with the football club in Indonesia, Prasita yes. Jakarta, the current fitness coach Paul Keenan, and the current head coach uh, Thomas Dahl, I believe used to be your coaches back in Apoel FC, which is your hometown That's club, correct. I believe. Correct. Correct. Can you tell us what it was like uh, training with them and what the players and fans of Persija can expect from such experienced coaches, in your experience? Yeah, Thomas Thor is, is a great coach. I had him at Apoel for a year and uh, we had some good memories together. Uh, obviously, he qualified us to, to European competitions, Europa League, which was great. This was the target of the club then. Uh, yeah, we had a great year together and uh, yeah, he's, he's a great manager. He'll push the team as much as possible with trainings and he'll try to play. So yeah, but Paul Keenan was there for for everybody, you know, each play individually, whatever they were needed, um, you know, on and off the pitch, which was great to have. Uh, and he's a great fitness coach. I had him also in the national team and uh, yeah, we had also some great time together. I touch wood, I didn't have any injuries then to work with him personally, but yeah, whatever he needed on and off the field, he was there. So that's the main main importance. Yeah, that's great. And speaking of Apple LFC, during your time there, I believe you had your Champions League debut, yeah. um, in which you played for 90 minutes, I believe, against PSG. Yeah. You played against the likes of Thiago Silva, Lucas Moura, and Edinson Cavani, who scored in that game. Can you tell us how difficult they were as oppositions compared to others you've played throughout your career? Boyhood dream, you know what I mean? Playing in the Champions League, and I had that opportunity thanks to, to my club, previous club, Apoel. Uh, it was tough, obviously, it's the highest level every every player wants to reach to, and uh, yeah, it's an unbelievable experience. Tough, but yeah, you know, I can say I played in that, in that competition, and I'm very happy and great. Final question, you're one of the few members of the current Como squad with senior national team experience with the Cyprus national team. Can you tell us what it's like to play for your country and what do you envision for your country during your career and how far would you like to take that personally? Like I said also with other competitions, also play for your country is, uh, is an honor, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I can't describe how I feel to play for the national team. Uh, but yeah, we, we have a lot of ambitions, we're a young squad, obviously we Cyprus, we've not achieved something special, you know, qualifying for competitions. Obviously, we need uh, we need time to do that, and uh, we need to improve as players and individually to to achieve that. But step by step, I think uh, we have talent. We have put the players. We've got players playing in different countries and competing against good players. So I think we can achieve something good together. And I'm very happy to, to be part of that. That's great, and I think they have the right man to do the job. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> well, thank I'm you for your time, best. Nick. No, Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Prima casi, como football Indonesia.